Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is to use plastic wrap. Plastic wrap. So I'm going to label my box first. Okay. This one is, is a fun technique to use uh, because again, it creates a really interesting texture that a lot of artists will use to describe like rocks or a uh, cliff or something like that because it, it kind of makes these rock-like shapes in a really organic way, but yet they kind of have a little geometry to them. So um, what you're gonna do is really similar to the way you use salt in that you're gonna take a lot of water here. You take some uh, your paint and paint in this entire area here. And you want, like I said, a good amount of, of water on your paper, but not enough that it starts to puddle and get out of control. Okay? You've got to do this all while it's still wet, so don't let it dry out. So sometimes you have to go back and add some more water to it. This is fairly good watercolor paper, so it's going to absorb pretty quickly your, your paint. Okay, then you're going to take a piece of plastic wrap. You just need a tiny little piece of it and you're going to crumple it up. So it's all kind of wrinkly and then you just kind of press it into your paint. Okay, you just press it down. Press it down onto your paint and then just leave it and let it sit and dry. It has to dry completely. Okay, just press it down, let it dry, and it'll kind of fall off on its own, so you don't need to uh, peel it off or anything. But when it's done, it'll leave this cool little texture right here, because the plastic will uh, uh, protect certain areas and pool the paint in certain spots, which creates this little, uh, to me it reminds me of like a cobblestone or kind of a brick-like pattern or something like that, okay? So that's the plastic wrap technique.